Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to Outside the Shop. So, continuing on this truck project. Hopefully get this thing moving today. I've got my parts in. Got a new Luck slave cylinder. And I got a master cylinder in the truck that come in the other day. So, Hopefully this is the right thing. Yeah, it looks about right. Back in the good old pre-plastic days. Of course. It means these things are incredibly prone to corrosion. It usually wipes them out. But I'm going to put silicone brake fluid in it this time. And hopefully that will solve that problem. I said it worked on my other truck. So we'll do it here and see if we get the same results. So... There's the slave cylinder down there. Won't be able to really film much for you. Can't see it, I can't see it. So, I saw Starba getting the clutch slaves off here and then the, the clutch master cylinder off and then we'll take that one off. Sit you over there where everybody can worry about this radiator hose being pinched off that isn't actually pinched off but All right, so I managed to get the old uh, clutch master cylinder off. It's got four studs there, unscrewed the nuts on the inside and came right off. And we got the new one here. Before I stick that back in here, I'm gonna take my fluid film, which is good stuff, spray it down on the inside here to help prevent any corrosion in the future on this part. And then, uh, Gotta swap these plugs out on the front side. So, other than that, it looks like the right thing. So, this is a Luck brand. They make pretty decent stuff. It's Taiwanese, not Chinese. So, one step up, I guess. At least for now.
Okay, so I've got the old slave cylinder off. This is a new one, so do the same treatment to it I did to the master cylinder. Pop the boot off. Spray this sucker full of fluid film. Try and give it the best chance to not corrode up. All right, we got the new slave cylinder on. So now I'm gonna do is fill the reservoir up with the silicone brake fluid. Be sure it pushes all the old fluid out of the line before I hook it up so they don't get cross contaminated. And I'll hook this thing up and see if we got any clutch. Well, it's on and about as bad as I can get it. So, let's just see if this thing will move under its own power. Do you see if clutch leave release? Well, it's like wind gear. <laughs> Sounds a little rusty on the flywheel. Look, see where I'm going. That's something. It moves again. These tires. 
tires hired up. Things cleaned up here. Then maybe we can take it for a spin. Well, got the clutch working. And it seems to be running okay. Clean the windows off. I can actually see out now. So clean the bed out some. I guess uh let me see if I can take you for a little drive. We'll see if this thing's ready to go to the scrapyard. It's what uh, a lot of the viewers think this thing needs to be is uh just go ahead and drive it to the junk. So I think it's plenty good enough to haul firewood with, so that's what I'm gonna do with it. We'll see how it's running now. Extra marginal. The low gears are nice for a farm truck. Up. We got one brake anyway. It sounds like. Try second gear. Well, we're dead. Bailey's like, what on earth are you doing? What happened, Bailey? We short the coil out. Looks like the goose has a fuel line 
what kept it from running, replace the fuel filter, and back in business. So, might have to go through a few of these to get that fuel line cleaned out going back into the cab. I replaced the fuel filter and we're back running again. So, the coop, you see all the rust and stuff come out of that fuel line. So, hopefully, that should have it flush now. It's just running into the tank in there. Alright, test drive take two. Let's see if we can make it further this time. Where'd you go, Bailey? Oh, there he is. Well, yeah, you like it better now, don't you? You wanna go for a ride. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's safe for Bailey to ride in here. He'd probably fall through the floor, so. Sorry, you'll have to watch from afar. I'm gonna slung the block out of the back. I think it'll make a good firewood hauler. Yep. Even with that pinched off radiator hose and doing donuts, it still don't get hot. Yep. We got a man, a dog, and his junk truck. What more could you ask for in life? 
So, so there it is. Certainly not magnificent, but you know, for what it is, it does all right. It'll be fun. You don't have to worry about scratching or tearing it up. Some ancient Dunlop tires on the front. I don't know how long these tires will survive. Probably not too long if we keep crowding on them, but otherwise they'd probably be all right. I don't even know what these are on the back. Goodyear's, maybe. Yeah, they're Goodyear's. Probably will be able to tell by how dry rock cracked they are, but. What do you think, Bailey? You like? Says it's hot out here. It's 100 degrees. At least from the heat, with the heat index. Chicken sneaking up everywhere. Yes, Dunlops on the front. Can't say I've ever even seen any Dunlop tires besides these in person. They're ancient 817.5s. That's an odd size. So try to tear them up because it'd be hard to come by new ones. Don't you agree, Bailey? Yeah, he's hanging around. He definitely wants to go for a ride. Ready for a turbo.